Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Thank you for being here again. It's been a minute since I've posted a video, so I'm going to um, post a quick one for you this morning. It is Sunday and we've just got back from a little family ride and I went for a run and Brad and Hudson did a ride. Um, so I'm going to uh, film a quick yoga flow that you guys can follow through. A bit of stretching, um, a little bit of cardio, uh, a whole different um, range of positions. So I hope you guys enjoy it and as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. So grab your water, grab your mat, and I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So we're going to begin in child's pose. Just take a couple of deep breaths here. Really ground yourself, whether or not you have children falling off their bikes or not. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go straight into our cat-cow posture. So we're going around the spine and tuck the chin before arching the back and lifting your chin to the sky. Just a couple more here. Okay, then we're going to go into our Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog into our downward facing dog. Just take the time to really stretch it out here. Then we're going to step our left leg to the front of the mat. Go straight into our high lunge before taking warrior one, Osana. going to fold over, place your arm to the floor if you can, and just hold before coming back to warrior one and reverse the warrior position. Okay, bring it back to warrior one when you're ready. Back to plank, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And we're going to do that again on the other side. So step your right foot through to the front of the mat. Take your high lunge before transitioning into warrior one. Really sink deep into that front knee. Okay, we're going to place our elbow to our knee and don't fall like that. <laughs> place your hand to the ground if you can. Embrace the core. back to warrior one and straight into our reverse warrior Osana. Okay. Okay, so jump or step to the front of your mat before taking a big breath in, reach into the sky and then down into your full fold. Halfway up, full fold. You just stretch it out here for a minute. If you feel like it, you can interlock the arms and sway side to side, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm going to take our half up and again, full fold, big breath in as we reach to the sky before coming down into our chair position. Extend the arms, brace the core. We're gonna lift our heels off the ground and sit as low as we can into that chair position. A little audience behind me there. And just hold. And we're gonna drop back into our full fold. You should be able to stretch here a little bit further each time you go into that full fold. Big breath in, back down into our chair position. We're gonna extend the arms again, and we're gonna drop lower if we can. You might start to shake here a little bit, as I am really good for the legs. Head on down, big breath in, and prayer position. Another big breath in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the legs. I'll just turn to the side actually, um, so you can see. Okay, we're going to 
spread the legs quite wide, hands on hips, and bend from the hips. Now, go a little bit further with your feet. So do a, a heel toe all the way out until you feel like your legs are getting that stretch that they need. We want to get our forearms to the ground and just hold. And if you can, pop your head to the mat. I know I'm not actually on a yoga mat at the moment, but you probably are. Extend your arms and just hold this position. This might feel a little bit strange, but it's actually very good for you. Okay, heel toe all the way back in. And we're going to take a stretch. So right arm through to left leg before switching to the other side. Just go at your own pace here. Okay, and then we're going to heel toe all the way back in until we are back into our full fold stretch. Take a big breath in and come back up and head back down. Jump or step to the back of your mat into plank position. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into downward facing dog and then we're going to really round the spine as we head back into plank. So just see how I'm curving the spine at the beginning. So I'm not just going into a plank, but I am rounding out vertebrae by vertebrae. Really getting that feeling of curving the spine couple more and then we're going to head straight into our dolphin planks bit of core work here all right so forearms to the ground up into our downward facing dog and let's head straight into those dolphin planks really brace the core here couple more Right, let's drop to our knees. We're going to raise the right leg and we're going to do some push-ups. So straight down and straight back up. Five on each side. All right, then we're going to switch legs and do another five. Oh, try and <laughs> get up. Properly, if you can, don't do that. Okay, plank, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Stretch it out here for a second. Jump or step to the front of your mat. Take a big breath in and head on down to your fourth fold. All right, now I just want you to take the time here to really gather your energy and just let your whole body fall into this forward fold. And then round up vertebrae by vertebrae. Big breath in, jump or step to the back of your mat. We're going to bring the right leg to the front of the mat and go straight into our warrior one position. We're going to get our hands into prayer position and twist the body. Let me turn around so you can see this better. Really twist from the hips and just hold this position. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay, back into warrior one. Prayer position. And we're going to do it again on the other side. So left leg step to the front of your mat. Warrior one. Prayer. And let's take that twist on the other side. You really have to uh, brace every muscle here to hold this position. Back into warrior one. Head on down. 
plank position, chaturanga, dandasana, upward facing dog, and into your downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna raise that back leg. Then we're gonna come in and do our 10 knee pumps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift the leg to the sky and switch. Back into the knee pumps. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and raise. And head on down. Chaturanga, Dandasana, upward facing dog. Let's just take child's position. Really breathe here and allow your body to completely let go. Okay. Come on over into your seated position. And as always, we're going to end with a few deep breaths in as you raise your arms to the sky. Inhale and hands into prayer position. And inhale. Exhale. And now we're just gonna take a minute to sit here and really ground yourself and get ready for the day ahead. And we're done. Good job, guys.